Honorable Meet Faleke amidst rumors of second surgery. Former Governor of Lagos State and National Leader of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu met with a Reps member, James Faleke, in Keja Federal Constituency in London on Wednesday, Politics Nigeria has learned. According to Ovation publisher Dele Momodu, Tinubu, who was in high spirits, discussed and bantered with Faleke. This development is contrary to reports that he secretly had a second surgery on Tuesday. Another photo, obviously, showing them as well. Um, oh, I mean, listen, these are all rumors, but then sometimes, you know, there could be truth to some rumors, especially as we've seen in the past that when it comes to his health, he's not really been the best. I mean, when it comes to reading, comprehension, maybe sight problems, because the statement he made when he had to do with numbers, okay, fine, okay, let's be honest, we can get it sometimes with big numbers, you can mix up some things, but, um, yeah, that, what he said about the numbers of soldiers at that time was so drastic that, Again, it is just a number, but it's a very big number exaggerated that, of course, got the attention of a lot and a lot of Nigerians. And then I think when he went or traveled to the north, he slipped or lost his balance. Like, he did not even trip on anything. There was nothing in his way. He just lost his balance. And, of course, from then, you know, people started suspecting. I mean, even the man himself, he's old. So, obviously, you know, his health issues gain more are, are solidified they are solidified because we're like of course he's old it's logical to think of course he would have some health issues and um the more reason why you know the rumors about his gunning for presidency yeah it should be level because <laughs> um i don't know he's not i mean i personally i don't think he may want to be president but you can't really say i'm not even gonna be here and say that age will serve as a barrier i really don't think it would listen like play like play some people that i don't expect to become presidents have become presidents so we're not gonna underestimate anything but um that's it someone said just look at this old man that is coming up for president I and mean, for the fact that he has the confidence to do such shows the kind of the people he wants to appeal to and of course that confidence would probably reflect in the fact that he knows that people will vote for him. So it is what it is. Um, someone says, <laughs> oh, replying to that comment, um, it says, your dad is still young. Someone says, bring your own candidate. Let's check him up. Yes, there has to be a checkup. I mean, it may sound insulting and invasive and intrusive, but with the history Nigerians have had with political leaders, it's absolutely justified for Nigerians to be like, let's do a checkup. And it's just not at the point where we are going to trust that you will do well or we will trust that um, you are fine or we just trust in general. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We don't just trust that you're... Mm -mm. And it's just the fact for Nigerians to be like that. Nigerians need to, you know, come up with terms and conditions and the president will have to agree Again, it's just an accountability system. We need to make people accountable for what they do. And I just need to be harsh. If you do not follow all these things, we will keep you on all side of the bargaining. And I guess that's where the constitution comes in. But, of course, nobody follows it. But Nigerians are not at the point where we hope that, oh, because you are old, express. Mm -mm. Young, old, listen, if you do anyhow, we will show you that, listen, you will pay for it. And that is where Nigerians need to be because... The way the country is run, it shows that the people, the presidents, the, you know, representatives, the representatives, senators, all of them, they don't respect Nigerians. And it shows in their daily action, the way they describe Nigerians, the way they relate with Nigerians, or lack thereof. Um, it shows that they do not rate Nigerians. So Nigerians have to force them to rate them. Because really and truly, we must not forget that the power lies in the people. Of course, I've gone on a tangent, but... Listen, we are talking about competence as a leader um, and age. Unfortunately, we're going to have to be ageist. It is playing a factor. Sorry, but 
it's not it's not that i mean being honest there are people that are let me research how old tinubu is not gonna lie um tinubu age because there's some people that are he's 69 which really is not is old but there are six nine years that look better really and truly like not even trying to be rude or anything there are 59 year olds that look i'm a 69 year old that is better um buhari looks uh, okay let me let me not start comparing but fact is um Tinubu, uh, is not it somebody else says <laughs> someone says is it just it is this man that they say he should come rule us i fear some people hmm someone says gotta have mercy on us in nigeria just take a look at people who are wishing to rule us it's not even that. It's a, it's a different situation. You just say, if we had a variety, you know, from very, very young to very, very old to people from this, you know, um, you know, industry to that industry to different experiences, it's fine. But when we don't have a diverse range of people that want to be president, our options are small and the options are not making sense. Of course, you're going to be discouraged and be like, excuse me, in this country? No, no, no. Um... It is obvious that this man is not well. His mouth alone that is gravitating towards the left side shows signs of neurological problem. Nigerians should not be taken for granted anymore. Please. That's it. And I just need to be harsh and increase the standards. Like, I just can't decide that we don't want an election because all of you are bad. Like, why can't we do that? Honestly. Because... I'm so sorry, constitution, constitution, constitution is like the constitution itself sometimes is made to box people. Be honest. Like, because, nah, I'm not even, nah. Another comment here says, greed and aimless agenda will not allow the old and weak men step outside politics. Let me read that again. Greed and aimless agenda will not allow the old and weak men step aside politics somebody says Osimbajo is better for the job hmm? okay well i'm not completing that sentence um yeah that i mean that is really it to be honest um again we need some more competent nigerians to increase the standards yes well, i understand we are used to the bare minimum this administration there is no standard at all it's not even bare there is no minimum there's just no standard um so i understand that it, it will take a lot for us to adjust in terms of understanding that we're actually worthy and deserving of a good government and we would actually sit and go for it um, because again you might think okay yes you know you want this but then it, it you know your thinking reflects in the actions and and in what you put up with so because we've been putting up with nonsense for a lot of years listen does not mean that we'll find something good and then we'll just you know jump on it mm, it's not as easy so yeah, put what you think about it in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.